I mean, the challenge is over, but now I have a new challenge. <laughs> Just keep running. This is a running 50 recovery update. I got my shot on Tuesday and He said it could take up to seven days to work, but I woke up on Wednesday and could get out of the bed without grunting. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh. So I went for a run and I went out and I did a seven mile run. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was super awesome. But I will say the weeks following the 50 mile race and then even to the end even though I was running 50 miles a week boy I was really grinding that out after the challenge was over the adrenaline and stubbornness and all of that was kind of gone and I was really having trouble even doing a 5k I mean, I was limping and hurting and everything. Why it took me so long to get the shot, I have no clue. I'm still, because it's only been you know, four days, I'm still running kind of funky. Not limping as bad or anything, definitely. All right, 2.3 miles and I don't know, about a 10.30 pace. And I feel good. I mean, I mostly feel good because I'm running and it doesn't hurt. I would not say, however, I'm pain-free. My knee and my kind of shin on my left leg still kind of hurt and I I am sure that's from all the limping and everything. Oh yeah, crystals, oh my gosh. Here we're running past the Portland Saturday Market, which I'm totally going to. I'm gonna force my camera crew to go to the market. So it's two months since the after party Vegas half marathon. A year from my 50K and three years since Boston. <laughs> it's a lot of running in there. <laughs> this run just proves that you can be 50, over 50, and keep doing what you want to be doing, challenging yourself. You just have to keep to it <laughs> and maybe be a little stubborn <laughs> or crazy, but that's what's fun about it. Check it out, just like this woman. Look at her. She's still going. She looks great. Happy Memorial Day. I've been riding the bike a lot. Um, and I've been swimming, which I said I'd never do. <laughs> but I have been, not a ton. I'm actually not hating that as much as I thought I would. <laughs> Nothing really compares to the running, but it's not too bad. Just this week, actually, it occurred to me that maybe a good thing was the elliptical. So I've been on the elliptical a lot this week. And you know, it's deceivingly harder than it 
looks. I actually work up a sweat. This totally strange thing is my feet fall asleep while I'm on it, which I think is a bad thing. But anyway, after I got the shot, I, um, had a few great runs, actually, but probably <laughs> overdid it too early. My thigh and my knee and my calf and shin <laughs> all hurt now. <laughs> so I've been going back to the PT to try and get that fixed up. The miracle shot helped my hip for sure. But unfortunately, it doesn't make up for the wear and tear of 2,600 miles on my 50-year-old body. <laughs> Recovery is hard because it's just frustrating and disappointing, honestly. It makes me sad because I feel like I'm never gonna be back to where I was before the challenge. And actually during a good portion of the challenge. I feel like, I don't know, kind of broken. <laughs> Even though nothing's broken. And it's so frustrating because it just seems to be taking a lot of time and <laughs> not really making much progress on it. Maybe I am, I don't know. I haven't been posting a lot of videos because I'm busy, but also it's hard to be motivated to post videos about running when I'm not doing much running. And the running I'm doing, I don't feel that great about. <laughs> sort of makes me kind of like Sad. I don't know. Especially looking at, you know, all the videos, weeks of just running 50 miles, but also weeks of training for the races and, geez, the amount of miles I was doing in those training runs. It's like, I almost can't believe it. I did it. Because the way it is now, I just can't even picture getting through that. So it's kind of hard to talk about running. <laughs> but really should because, you know, that's part of it. I mean, the challenge is over, but now I have a new challenge. <laughs> Just keep running. I didn't really know how to take or what to make of all the comments of, you know, support and inspiration and all of that. I, I loved them, but now I'm relying on them to get through this next challenge, which is the recovery, which is harder, I think. I think 
recovery is harder because there's not a, um, like a tangible goal, like end point. Once I set myself to the challenge, there's basically no way I wasn't doing it. I'm stubborn like that. And because I was filming it, I was accountable. I mean, technically just to myself, but it just made me feel more accountable. So also, no way I wasn't gonna do it. The recovery is kind of just this amorphous thing. Like, maybe I'll get better, but it kind of feels like I'll never be back to what I was before. And so that's really defeating. <laughs> that's why it's harder. So I think what I've learned is I like to have a challenge and I can do it, which is awesome. But I need to kind of figure out what my next challenge is so that I can have a new accomplishment. My short-term goal <laughs> right this minute is that we signed up for two half marathons. So I want to do those. <laughs> um, and honestly, based on how I'm running right now, that seems a little sketchy, <laughs> which is crazy. But I need to set my sights appropriately for where my body's at right now. And I think that would be good. I'll be pretty happy with that, actually. Long term, I guess my goal is really just to recover and find my new running sweet spot, which I'm pretty sure will be different. But that's okay. Uh, keeping it real summary today is <laughs> still hurts when I run, but I love to run, so I keep doing it anyway. <laughs> so this is the new challenge, <laughs> continuing to run. I guess Amorphous as that is, that'll have to do for right now.